Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. First myth of today's episode is... Jay, I got one. I call this glitch, I survived. One, go to the day when Kakona goes to the bathroom. Two, kill a random person. Three, hide the body in the stall so you can use it later. Four, let Kakona go to the bathroom. Five, turn off the lights and pour water on her. Six, while Kakona goes to turn off the lights, quickly bring the body and show it to her while she is being electrocuted. Okay, Kakona's inside the bathroom, so let's pour it on her. There you go. Did someone really okay. just throw water on me? Grab her. How come on, come on, come on, come on. Be quick. This? Okay, there you go. I'm gonna hide right behind here. Come on, Kakoni. I can't go to class like this. Oh shit, we gotta turn the lights off. I forgot. She didn't even notice me holding the body. Look at this. Oh my god, I didn't even know you could do that. Alrighty, guys. This is attempt number two. I'm not gonna forget to turn off the lights this time. And thank goodness that the students can't notice the bloody footprints on the floor. And also, they can't notice legs sticking out of the stall. But anyway, that's a story for a different day. Let's pour this water on Kakoni. Bam. Did someone really Kay. just throw water so, uh, on me? So, let's turn off the lights. Why would someone do and this? And pick this body up. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna hide behind here. I have to turn the stupid lights back on. Yeah, apparently you gotta turn the stupid lights on before you leave the bathroom. Uh, there you go. Show the body to her. No? What the hell's going on? Look! Hey! Look! Kakona! Look before you die! Damn you! Third time's a charm, like they always say. Did Got the water on her. Really just throw water and on turn off the lights. Pick up this? the body. And I'm gonna jump out right when she turns the lights on. I promise you guys. Come on, Kakoni. Turn, turn those stupid, stupid lights, lights back, back on. on. Alright, one, two, three. Look! <laughs> How can I show her the body? If she's facing the wall, like, there's gonna be no line of sight for her to see Kudere. Holy fuck, holy fuck, holy shit, what the hell is going on with you? Stop it! The stupid lights back on. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Is it? There you go. Fuck! Come on! Look at me! Notice me! Okay, let me try something, guys. I'm gonna stand right next to the stall that she comes out of. And if she doesn't notice me holding Kudere's body, then I don't think this is gonna work. Because if she can't notice me carrying a body in her peripherals, then there's gonna be no way she's gonna notice me because there's no space to stand in front of her while she's getting electrocuted. Does that make sense, guys? And why can't I grab this body now? Oh my god, I can't grab Kudere! What the fuck is this? Where did Kudere go? Where is she? Kudere's gone. Guys, Kudere has literally left the building. You guys see that? Okay, right when she turns it on, I'm popping up from the corner. I did it, see? She just teleports into it. She was looking for the light switch, and I was standing right in front of her, and nothing happened. Kudere, what the fuck? Are you serious? Why do they always start flopping like a little fish and then go up to the next level? She better be up here. Kudere, are you in this stall? She is in this stall. Kinda. She's halfway between the first and the second floor. You guys see that gobbledygook right there? That bunch of just jumbled shit? That's Kudere. Okay, one, two, three. See? I popped up as she was searching for the light, and nothing happened. I kid you not, guys. I have done this more than 20 times, all in different ways. I tried glitching through the wall to get her to notice the body through there. I went as soon as she was searching for the light. I stood next to her as soon as she was getting electrocuted, and nothing. Maybe this worked in a previous Someone build, really but as for the one, one that I'm using right now, Kakona is not this? detecting the body as she's getting electrocuted. If somebody's able to do this one, more power to you. But I'm gonna give this one the big old debunk. On to the next one! Will the principal recognize you wearing a mask? I'm gonna go ahead and say hell yeah he will because I put Greetings. on the freaking Metal Gear Solid Join box and he saw right through that shit. So what's stopping him from club. seeing us through a mask? I don't know, but a lot of people seem to be asking this one in the comment section, so we are gonna do that right now. And also, I feel like this is a good opportunity for me to tell you guys why I didn't mention that, like, the cell phone that you have is made by the Psycho brand or the box that I was in a Psycho brand. Even the laptop that he's using is a Psycho brand. It's because I mentioned that a long time ago when the Psycho brand first popped up in the Yandere Simulator builds. I doubt that has anything to do with the deal he was talking about after he kills Yandere-chan, but I'm gonna touch on that later in the episode right now we got to see if he can see us through the mask so there he is just chilling on his laptop let's take one step in and he didn't notice me 
Okay, he did notice me. Okay, so that one was a really simple one to do. But before we move on to the next one, there's a new update to the headmaster. So if you make him stand up and then sit back down 10 times, he'll tase you anywhere in his office. He'll 360 no scope you bitch ass. I guess he has some freaking long range taser or something because look at this. We're going to make him stand up and down 10 times. That's one. He's going to sit back down. Two, get your candy ass up, and then we're going to make You're him do this ten no times good. in total, and then he's going to shock my ass. So I'm just going to keep running around in this circle, and eventually, he's going to tase me, no matter how ridiculous he looks. There you go. Long-range tase in your face. Okay, so now he's going to say the line, Mr. Psycho, the deal is off. A lot of people had some really good theories in the comment section, but I started to think about it more and more, and I think that the deal has something to do with Mr. Psycho's daughter, Megami Psycho, the last rival in the game. Because if you go on the Yandere Simulator website and you read like her bio, it says this. Megami, unlike all other characters, is fully aware of the fact that there is a dangerous person on school grounds. Once she arrives at school, she will do absolutely everything in her power to protect the school's population. That includes installing security cameras, hiring security guards, and instating a zero tolerance policy for suspicious behavior. Megami clearly has some very important information that would cause her to go to such extreme lengths, but what does she know? Does Psycho Corp have anything to do with it? And, more importantly, does Senpai have anything to do with it? So I think that the Headmaster and Mr. Psycho made a deal for Mr. Psycho's daughter, Megami, to be able to have all the freedom that she wanted in the school in order to catch Yandere-chan. So it kind of makes sense that after the Headmaster kills Yandere-chan with the taser, then he's like, Mr. Psycho. The deal is off. Meaning that he doesn't have to deal with Mr. Psycho and his daughter Megami. Let me know if you guys agree with that in the comment section below. But to answer the question, if you wear a mask and go into the headmaster's office, he's still gonna see that candy ass. On to the next one. Do something that makes you locked in an animation. For example, laugh, tornado mode, bad time mode, etc. In front of the headmaster for 60 seconds. Because now he will shock you if you stay in front of him for more than one minute. Then he will shock you, but... Well, I guess you'll have to see that one alone. Tip. After you've done that, use the phone to be able to move again. Also, now he reacts to bodies. Okay, for this one, I'm just going to stay in tornado mode, and I'm just going to do this for 60 seconds. And hopefully we can see when he tasers me, so we can see exactly what happens. Oh, cool! He shocked me, but I'm still moving around! That is so sick! It's a new Dead Alive glitch! Oh, shit! Damn it! <laughs> He killed me twice! Headmaster's so savage, he killed somebody twice. This time, I'm not gonna go in an Easter egg. I'm just gonna do the good old-fashioned Yandere-chan laugh. Let's do this for 60 seconds, and let's activate the new Dead Alive glitch. There we go. He said, enough of this nonsense. He shocked me. I'm still standing, still laughing. And bam! Dead Alive glitch activated. Oh yeah! The camera's still fucked up, though. And if I get kind of close to him, then he shocks me again. Let me see if I can actually leave the office. Okay, here we go again. Blam. Let's pull out our phone. Let me see if I can open the debug menu. Okay, I can. I'm gonna teleport out of here. And yeah. Okay, we can walk around. The camera is kind of funny, just like with the original Dead Alive glitch. But yeah, guys, if you do anything that locks you into an animation for 60 seconds while he has his taser pointed right at you, he'll shock you. It triggers the Dead Alive glitch after you pull out your phone. That is true. But at the end of the myth, it also said that the headmaster now reacts to dead bodies. Let's just show him one inside of his office, and let's see what he does. Hello, motherfucker. Murderer! And then he just shocks me instantly, and then goes back on the freaking laptop. What a savage! I feel like the more encounters that I have with the Headmaster, the more that he's creeping up on my favorite Yandere Simulator characters list. Like, move over Oka, move over Nurse, move over Midori, Headmaster, he's coming through. But anyway guys, the Headmaster now shocks you if you stay in his office for too long, he reacts to dead bodies, the Dead Alive glitch is alive and well, on to the next one. Jay, I think I got a Dead Alive glitch that might work. Head over to the headmaster's office, walk up to him while showing your camera, and there you go. Short, sweet, and to the point, just how I like it. I think this one might work. We'll see, we'll see. Pulling out our phone, he got that shit locked and loaded, and we're walking up to him, and I asked for it. Yeah, I guess I asked for it. Okay, let's see if we can somehow activate the dead alive glitch. I'm clicking to get out of the camera, and it won't let me. Can I open the debug menu? No. Easter egg menu? No. Teleport anywhere? Nope. I can't do anything. It's like a stuck animation. All you can see is like the game inside the phone screen and the game outside of the phone screen. There's like some kind of like inception thing going on around here. 
but I think I answered this one pretty quickly. One take Jay's in the building, guys. I pulled out my phone in front of the headmaster. He shocked me. I can't get out of this phone holding animation. I can't open the debug menu, Easter egg menu, any of that stuff. That is officially debunked. On to the next one. When the headmaster is going to electroshock you, can you teleport to another place right before that moment happens? When I first found out about the headmaster, I actually tried to open the debug menu as I was getting electrocuted, but you're stuck in like an animation, so you can't do anything. You just gotta let it happen. But maybe if I open the debug menu while I'm going inside, then maybe I can teleport right before he shocks me. The trick is, I gotta know exactly when he's about to shock me. I can see him looking at me. Wait, what the hell? Okay, let me open it right here. I am not going Walk to towards him. Me. Okay, the debug me. menu automatically closes when you get too close to him. So to answer your question, if you have the debug menu and you want to teleport right before he's about to shock you, it's not going to work because once you get too close to him, it automatically closes the menu. So I'm going to go ahead and give that one the good old debunked. On to the last myth of today's episode. How will the student react to you getting tased? Okay, so we got evil girl right here. We got headmaster pointing his taser right between these eyeballs. We're going to go up to him and... Nothing. I think. I couldn't see the freaking chair was in the way. This time I'm going to set the camera up right here so there's going to be nothing blocking my vision. And let's get the evil girl to come next to me. Come on, evil girl. Come on, evil girl. Where the hell is she? Is that what we're doing now? Are we doing that? Okay, get over here. Thank you. Set the camera up right over here. Go around. Okay, there you go. That's perfect. Look at this. Look at that. Gotcha, Bam. Bitch. She saw that. She saw the whole thing. She had no reaction whatsoever. She didn't even smile after I died, which is surprising because she's so damn evil. But to answer your question, no, students do not react to you getting tased. So that is officially debunked. And with that said, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, challenges, or myths you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!